Elsewhere tonight, it's a disability usually associated with children, but attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is not just a school age issue anymore. An increasing number of adults are getting the ADHD diagnosis. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff reports confronting the disorder head on can change lives. Trouble focusing, easily distracted, restless, do you daydream or have bouts of anxiety? Donna Tagg says all of those issues and more. Impatient, frustrated, lose temper quickly. Are on her personal list of life issues, literally. And I just sort of took down notes for myself about what I thought applied to me. Those notes served quite a purpose. Last summer, the 52-year-old lifelong Chicagoan was diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. She wasn't surprised. Her 15-year-old son, Christopher, was diagnosed as a child. Tag's issues mirrored some of his. So was it sort of a relief then, almost? It was a relief because it took away some of the feelings of guilt about my personality faults. Are more adults now being diagnosed with ADD and ADHD than 10 years ago? Yes, it's probably the largest group that's being identified now. ADHD expert Dr. Mark Stein says that's due in part to increased awareness that the disorder doesn't just affect children. In fact, Stein says one in 25 adults has ADHD, which is frequently found in other family members too. It's not just having the symptoms, it's having symptoms that result in some impairment. That impairment almost derailed 47-year-old Ruth Princess's life. At one point, things got so bad, I thought I had a stroke, and I didn't know what this was called. Word recall wasn't her only problem. She couldn't find things and would lose total track of time. Since her diagnosis eight years ago, Princess has learned coping strategies. Things like setting a timer. And attend support groups like this one to keep working on ways to manage the disability. It's not so much oh, I have a disorder, it's these are where my assets are, these are where my deficits are. Donna Tague is starting that journey now. She's attacking it with a positive point of view. I would forget the thought about labeling. Labels will last for two minutes, but the help can change your whole life. Dr. Stein points out that ADHD symptoms are different for different people, but if you're concerned, see your doctor to rule out other issues first.